everyone, it's Melody Morita. Minasan konnichiwa, Melody Morita desu. So today I'm going to be sharing my recent favorites and recommendations from the drugstore that are going to include both skincare and makeup. And I'm going to be doing something new for this video for the first time. So I'm going to be talking about Japanese drugstore favorites in English for the first half. And then for the second half, I'm going to be sharing my recent favorite US drugstore products in Japanese. So that way I can reach towards both audiences and share my favorites from each country. I will have Japanese subtitles for the first half and then English subtitles for the second half. So that way, especially for those of you who are learning Japanese, you guys can still follow along and completely understand what I'm talking about. Now, if you have any questions or want additional information, I will have all of those details down in the description box below. So please be sure to open and check it out. 毎回英語と日本語を両方で動画を作っているのですが、今回は新しいスタイルで、この動画、パート1では、私の最近の日本のお気に入りドラッグストアコスメを海外の方にも知ってもらうために英語でご紹介し、パート2の動画、後編では、アメリカのお気に入りドラッグストアコスメを日本語でご紹介します。私が日本に行った時に何を買えばいいのかわからなくなって迷ってしまうように日本の方がアメリカに来られた時にどのドラッグストアコスメがいいのか気になる方もいらっしゃるかと思いますので私がいろいろ試した中で一番おすすめのアイテムそして学生さんでも買えるとても安くて小りの高いアイテムをシェアしていきたいなと思います今回ももちろん日本語字幕をつけていますのでぜひ最後まで楽しんでください Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right in and get started So in my updated nighttime skincare routine video, I showed a couple of Japanese masks and asked if you guys wanted to see my reviews or thoughts on it, and a lot of you said yes. So I tried them out and thought I'd share with you some of my favorite ones. So the first one that I briefly showed in that video was this one. This is the Sailor Moon packaging. It's super adorable. This is the Miracle Romance Makeup Beauty Mask, and there are five sheets total in here. So as you can see, it comes in this really cute packaging with the five sailors, and each sailor represents different effects. So the first one is Uruoi, which gives you that very nice dewy looking skin. Hari and Tsuya has to do more with the elasticity of the skin as well as a nice glow. And then the third one is Ohada no Dangyoko Tamotsu. So making sure the skin is nice and plump. And then the fourth one is Hoshitsu. So this is moisturizing. And then the last one is Ohada no Kime o Totonoeru. So this helps to minimize the appearance of pores and making sure the skin looks nice and flawless. This was about 1000 yen, so roughly around $10. This is paraben free, alcohol free. The mask itself is very nice and soft. It also has ingredients like vitamin C to help revive the skin, a lot of serum. And then lastly, this has a very slight white rose scent, so it helps to kind of give you that relaxing feel. Japan has a lot of really awesome, adorable, and crazy masks. I showed a couple in my in f l i g h t skincare routine video. One was Hello Kitty. Another one was this crazy Japanese omen style mask. Those are great as a souvenir, but I do want to let you know that the sailors are only on the outer packaging as well as the little packets, and they're not actually drawn on the mask itself. But if you do have a friend that absolutely loves Sailor Moon stuff, then maybe they will enjoy it. So this one was a good one. Another Japanese drugstore mask that I really, really love that I actually enjoy using even more than the Sailor Moon one is this one right here. This is the Quality First All in One Sheet Mask. And as you can see, it's a first place product in Japan. So you can tell already how popular it is. And it's pretty huge. There are 50 sheets in here. A lot of masks that comes in a huge package like this are very thin. But I was surprised because this one is very, very soft. It's made out of 100% natural cotton. So on the back, there is a little bit of explanations going on. しっかり保湿のための美容成分35種類配合コラーゲン、セラミド、ビタミン C、ヒアルロン酸など So 35 different types of beauty extracts in each mask. I also looked up more information online and took down some notes for you. So this has no scents, no oils, it's non-alcohol, oil-free, and also good for a sensitive skin. And the hyaluronic acid used in this mask is very concentrated, so you can immediately see how it takes away all the dry patches, so that's why I love it. I love products where you can immediately see the effect. So this is one of my all-time favorites, and I highly, highly recommend it. And if you're looking for a mask for anti-aging, I recommended this mask over on my second channel, Melody's New York Life. Be sure to check it out if you haven't already. 
I reviewed this product over there so you can watch that video for all the details but this is great because it's actually a mask that's only for this area right here so sometimes I like to use it in the morning while I'm doing like my eye makeup so I can still prep my skin before foundation and stuff like that. Using products like this will really help to prevent your skin from breakouts and acne as well. I get a lot of questions on how to prevent acne, how to clear up acne, how to get rid of blackheads, all that kind of stuff. So please give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see a specific video of me sharing my tips on how to prevent and clear acne. Next up, I have this which is the Cezanne Mixed Color Cheek. So it's a blush. And the reason why I got this is because it looked almost exactly like the Jill Stewart Mixed Blush Compact N. So as you can see, the shades are very similar. On the top left, it's like a highlight color. And then we have a baby pink. Then we have a nice soft pink and then more of a magenta sort of pink. And I do feel like it was kind of inspired by this Jill Stewart one because this is a very popular product in Japan. It looks pretty much the same except for the packaging. Obviously this one is a lot nicer because it's high end. But I kind of wanted to see the color payoff and how different it is because Cezanne cheeks and any sort of highlight, contouring stuff that I've used until now have been really, really good. So I tried it out and I will show you on camera to see how it compares. So just like its name, you're supposed to mix the blush palette like this in a circular motion and then apply it onto the high points of the cheeks. It comes with a brush, but I personally like to use a big fluffy brush like this to apply on the high points of my cheek towards the center and that'll help you create that dolly sort of look and then I take the brush that comes with it and just take this highlight color and then I apply it on my nose bridge and then my chin and also right over here underneath the eyes and that just instantly makes your face look a lot brighter and awake. So comparing the two, obviously Joe Stewart has more pigmentation, the color payoff is really really nice but for my own personal taste, I found that this magenta color was a little bit too strong and I either had to use a very, very, very delicate brush that's not dense to make sure that I don't apply too much and look like a clown or I had to, you know, barely apply it. So the product itself is great and the packaging is obviously gorgeous, but you kind of have to get used to using it. So compared to that, this Cezanne palette is a fraction of the price. It's a lot more natural looking. This does have less pigmentation, but I personally prefer that because that way I can kind of adjust and add on if I want to. I used this the entire day for TV filming and it didn't get powdery and it also has great lasting power. I felt that it didn't come off throughout the day. So of course the Jill Stewart is wonderful, but if you're looking for a less expensive alternative, this Cezanne blush is an awesome dupe. Next up, I have a Japanese eyeshadow favorite. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows that I've ever, ever tried. And it's by a brand called Excel, and it looks like this. So this is a trio. There is a highlight color on the top, a brown shade for the entire lid, and then brown to do on the outer crease or as an eyeliner. So I've talked about other eyeshadow brands like Kate, Majolica Majorca, um, also Vise, they all have wonderful eyeshadows, but this literally is one of the best because it has such great color payoff. I love the shimmer that it has. It's not too much, nothing overwhelming, but still gives that nice little sparkle on the eyes. And also this is really small and has a nice protective lid, so it's great for traveling as well. And yeah, so if you're on the market for a new eyeshadow palette, check this out. Next is another hit product for me that I recently found. This is also a relatively new product because it came out in March. So it's called the Can Make Multi Smooth Oil Gloss. And this is what I have on my lips right now, but I will add a little bit more so you guys can see the color a bit more. And the color that I have is in number three, which is the red one. So this is made up of 91% of beauty oils as well as hyaluronic acid. It looks pretty red when you first squeeze it out of the tube, but when you apply it on your lips, it's kind of like a pinkish red. So it's great for those of you who want to try a red lip color that's still very natural looking. I think this is great for everyday use. It gives you that really nice plump lip effect and it lasts. It doesn't fade off throughout the day. I've tried a lot of lip glosses and lipsticks that claim to keep the lips moisturized throughout the day, but they don't work in the end for me because they get chappy or my lips start peeling and stuff like that. 
but this was one of the very, very few products where I don't have to apply any sort of lip balm beforehand and it helps to keep my lips nice and smooth and moisturized throughout the day. Even though it's an oil gloss, it's not slippery, it doesn't get sticky, and it stays put. Since I enjoyed this very much, I'm planning to buy the clear one online as well because the clear one is meant to be used at nighttime, so that way when you wake up in the morning, your lips are super plump and moisturized and pretty. So I'm really happy I discovered this product and it's another huge favorite of mine. So that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you'd like to see more of these favorites kind of videos. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all of that at Melody Marita. Thank you so much for watching until the very end and please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will see you all in my next video and have a wonderful week. Bye!